one of those pee sticks that you buy at the drugstore or something. They couldn't afford to have contact with you after the procedure, so they wanted you to test yourself. I remember pulling it out of the bag. I just lost it. And it was then that I realized people hadn't been buying these things for years. I mean, why would they? Hello, hello, people. We are Film Clips. My name is DJ Ratbastard. Behind me is... Hey, DJ More Sugar. And to our radio left is... DJ Remote Control, folks. Uh, hello. We have a guest in the room with us here. Say hello. Hey. Hey, how are you, sir? I'm doing good. How are you guys good doing? Stuff. Good. This is Alex Mitchell, and we this week, for anyone who isn't aware, are going to talk a little bit about the Calgary International Film Festival, which is wreaking havoc on our happy little city uh, beginning this week. And Alex Mitchell happens to have a, a film in said festival. This a is week. true. Yes, indeed. Can you tell us a little bit about what your film is about? Uh, my film is named Reproduction, and it is about a futuristic Alberta that starts re-implementing its old eugenics policies that were uh, sort of struck down by the Canada Supreme Court back in the 1970s. Are you saying it was real at one point? Actually, yes, yes, what it was. It is scandalous history to bring up here on Film Clips. It's a family show, but we have to speak the truth. Yeah, indeed we do. But yeah. you made, is it, uh, but you, you brought it back with, uh, I guess, are you are you being cynical? Are you being slanderous against that eugenics program? Or are you just using it as a profile, <laughs> as a vehicle to tell a story? Well, you know, actually, a lot of people have asked if it is a pro-eugenics film, and no, it definitely uh, is not. I have a decidedly sort of feminist approach to this kind of subject material. <laughs> Good man. But, uh, yeah, no, I just, I thought that um, it was interesting how there were a lot of parallels between, um, you know, sort of the recession back then that gave rise to movements like this and the recession that we're going through right now. And I thought, you know, what would happen if this kept going for another 10 years, you know, would we see something like this come back? And this is set in 2010, so the the very near future. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely very near future. And I mean, I know that there are a lot of uh, sort of radical separatist Alberta movements, and I thought, you know, if you know, employment rates drop enough, who knows, maybe people just will go crazy and something like this will happen. But, I mean, I'm not saying it's it's definitely going to, but, you know, I just, I thought, you know, speculative fiction's fun. So. What genre would you situate your film under? Uh... I don't want to say mockumentary because that makes it sound a lot funnier than it is, but I don't know what else to call it. It's it's sort of a documentary style, um, sort of like an Errol Morris mixed with Children of Men, I guess. Oh. That'd be the easiest way to describe it. It doesn't count as a sci-fi in your mind? Y yeah, you could count it as a sci-fi. It's just it's less pew-pew lasers and more like, you know, sort of ethical quandaries. <laughs> Can you tell us a little bit about the process of filming this 10-minute short? Um, I went through a really long writing phase, and I sort of broke it down into four big segments um, that were split between narrative and sort of interview styles. And then I wrote and shot those all independently and then just sort of mixed them up with like a big spoon and said, okay, this kind of flows like I want it to flow. Um, yeah, and that was pretty much it. It's just a, a really big doc mixed with a few little... Um, narrative sequences can we expect any fantastic surprises from this this little film um i wouldn't call it surprising uh what, i guess would I, I would it call fantastic? it fantastic uh, yeah it's it's Good pretty man. it's a uh, it's um what's the word that i'm thinking of it's thoughtful or at least that's the way that i would describe it i don't know well at 10 minutes you must just get to the point and you, you trimmed off all the fat, you jump right on it, and you tell the story as best you can. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ten minutes is much harder than you might think, though, Kelly. How long did it take yeah. you to make this? It's DJ Rat Bastard. I, uh, I went from about January until, and I just finished everything up in August. It took me a while to do a bunch of the really small finishing touches on it. The soundtrack especially took a really long time because I had an awesome composer friend of mine, Matt Sander, do it. So this was mostly uh, local people, local actors, local production local everything yeah with as much of my hands dirty and every little pie as i could possibly get <laughs> yeah. so so is this your baby um i always think that film is a collaborative medium so i don't <laughs> want to say specifically that it is my baby but i consider myself sort of the author of the piece the auteur if you want to be you auteur, know he's using big yeah. words <laughs> and, will, and you will will you tell us uh quickly before we move on to our next guest um is, is this one of many for Mr. Alex Mitchell? Can we find your work elsewhere? Yes. Uh, www.drunkcaterpillar.ca is the web location of my website. And if you want to check out more of my stuff, that's cool. Or I have a page on YouTube, too, if you just type in Drunk Caterpillar, all one word. 
And that is also Alex Mitchell, M-I-T-C-H-E-L-L. When is your film reproduction playing? October 4th at 8.45 on, uh, it's at the Globe. Oh, so on, it's playing on a as Sunday, the, people. Yeah, as okay. the part of the dysfunctional family uh, <laughs> sequence package, or sorry, short package. Do you think you were, you were uh, put in that category in correct, correctly? <laughs> um, I guess you could call me dysfunctional. I guess you need to be dysfunctional a little bit to be no. a, a crazy artist. No one's judging you, Alex. <laughs> Damn straight. Yeah. Well, we are going to move on from Alex, and feel free to jump in at any point if you need to, if you have comments, whatever, to...